How's it going guys? Welcome back to Torment. We just left this tavern area. I'm really looking for like a merchant or something to try and sell some of this shit that I've acquired and hopefully like gather some useful weapons so I can actually maybe fight some people. Because right now I really seem unable to do that. I really just keep getting my ass handed to me anytime I try. Angry Hive Dweller. I wonder what they're so upset about. See if we can, let's chase them down and have a quick word with angry hive dweller. You see a man in old and tattered clothes. As you approach him, he makes a detour to avoid you. Oh, I've totally talked to this guy. You basically just keep trying to talk to him and he just keeps getting more pissed off and I'm pretty sure that's the end of that interaction. I did want to, oh, this, yeah, this is where I wanted to be because I wanted to talk to Death of Names. I said two episodes ago that I was going to come back and talk to this guy, so I want to get that out of the way. Then we can go worry about trading some, uh, some gear. You see a dustman with a crooked smile frozen on his face. Despite the smile, his eyes are as dull as stones. His right arm is shorter than the left, and he keeps it tucked to his side as if cradling a small child. Greetings. The dust man's eyes slide over you. Name. The way he speaks the word, it sounds like the tolling of a bell. I... I don't know. No name? No name. I can't help you. The dust man speaks in a curious sing-song voice. Need to get a name if you want to see where it's died. What? Updated my journal. Give it a name when you're born. Give it back when you need it no more. Death of names, death of names. His eyes swim across the monolith, then the walls of the area. Buried many names here, death of names has. Tell me a name, I'll show you its grave. Doll. He shakes his head. Not dead yet, that name is. Not buried here. Not time, not time. Let me try another name. Once again, as I slide over a name, uh, da, 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 I'd like to bury a name. Who, who is Ad, Adan? I don't know where I know that name from. He shakes his head, not, not dead yet. Let me try another name. How about I'd like to bury a name? He nods, then unfolds his small hand from where it is cradled on his side. It looks atrophied. It is the size of a child's hand. Costs jink to bury a name. Three coppers, three. That's that's it? That's all it costs? That seems oddly cheap. Um, Quentin. Shit, where did I pick up that name from? Uh, let me let me say no name today. Until I maybe remember where Quentin came from. A little interesting that I could potentially bury someone, but I don't think at the moment I have anyone I particularly need to bury. What are these guys protecting? Also, what the hell? Oh, did I did I like miss my chance for half a second there? It looked like I could actually hover my cursor over there. Go for it. Go see what it is. What the hell is this place that randomly opens up sometimes? The mausoleum? Guardian spirit. The spectral figure materializes from the gloom of the passageway ahead and quickly moves to block your path. It floats before you, its once human features twisted in a mask of rage. Defilers, leave this place at once. Greetings. <laughs> leave now, its booming voice echoes down the halls. This place is forbidden to the leaving. Leave while you still can. I have some questions first. I go where I please. Stand aside, spirit. I'm not going to mess around with him, because presumably I can't actually fight a spirit. Seek your answers elsewhere. This place is a sanctuary for the dead. I shall not permit their slumber to be disturbed by the intrusion of yet another insolent mortal. Another? Has someone else been here? If you must know, yes, he gave up that information quite easily. There is another intruder who, even now, continues to violate the sanctity of these hallowed halls. The anger in the spirit's voice fades. He seems somewhat saddened by the admission. The souls of my brothers and sisters cry out for peace. Who is the other intruder? He is an evil coward who wields great power over the dead. He seeks something within these halls. What it might be or what its purpose in seeking it, I cannot say. Why don't you drive this intruder away? I cannot. The coward has sealed himself within the inner chamber of the mausoleum. 
He has erected powerful wards that bar my entrance into the chamber. It is from there that he calls upon the dark arts to awaken my brethren and bend them to his evil will. Perhaps I may be of, of assistance. Uh, sounds to me like you need the help of one intruder to get rid of another. The spirit remains silent for several long moments. You can almost feel the weight of his lifeless gaze upon you. Yes, you might prevail where I have failed. If you will pledge to rid me of this black guard, I shall grant you passage. What say you? Yeah, I'll do it. That sounds like a cool-ass quest. I'm definitely not prepared for it, but that sounds pretty fucking cool. So be it. The spirit slowly begins to fade until only the echoing of his disembodied voice remains. But take heed. Tread lightly in these halls, lest you join the others in eternal rest. Pretty fucking cool. I do want to... Let me just take a quick, a quick gander. A quick gander of what's going on down here. Oh man, this place seems like it's really going to open up. I, same as before, I need more equipment. I can't deal with this right now. Uh, as cool as it seems, I don't think I want to go in there bare-chested, holding a, a jagged dagger that I stole off someone. Uh, let us wander through this new area here. See if see if we can find a god dang merchant. Having a lot of difficulties with that. Man, I didn't expect the hive to be so massive. I see that poor Perfurion is over there, and I could maybe have a chat with him. But I'm gonna I'm just gonna strictly look for someone whose name is Merchant or something, or someone who clearly is working inside of a shop, small dwelling. Apparently I wandered into a centaur's house. I'm guessing they aren't selling things. Well, Arlo, tell me about this place. What, what is this place? You see a short, balding man standing in what serves as the foyer to this ramshackle flop house. That's... I like that description of it. I don't know if a flop house is some sort of... I don't know, like a motel or a, a hostel or something. I have no idea what the fuck a flop house is, but that's hilarious. His bushy brows are furrowed in concentration as he picks at what appear to be scabs on his large, bulbous nose. Ew, I don't really want to talk to Arlo, but greetings anyways. The man doesn't bother to look up. Instead, he continues to stare cross-eyed down at his nose. Yeah, what do you want? Could I rest here? I, I have some questions. Well, ain't that nice. He flashes you a sarcastic, yellow-toothed smile. And I'm sure you'll be find your answers someday, but I've got me a business to run. So if you don't want a bed, then I suggest you pike off. I see, can I have a bed then? Sure you can, Burke, if you got the jink for it. Nobody puts up here for free, except old Nestor over there. And, and that's only because no one's addle carved enough to mess with him. Uh, how, how much for a bed then? It'll cost you five coppers. He wipes his dirty hand on the front of his even dirtier shirt, then thrusts it towards you, palm up. Never mind. Peace out. I don't actually, I don't care enough to talk to your people. I just want to trade some stupid trash items that I no longer need. Vines with black leaves. The stems look extremely sharp. I was more curious in what this shit is on the ground here surrounding Mar. But I suppose I'll look at that another time. Just hyper concentrated on this merchant thing. Start to think it's not going to be a real option. More vines. Come on, guys. I've, I've, I've seen a hundred collectors and a hundred harlots and a hundred thugs. This town is seriously lacking some, some merchants, though. Ah! Shit! Why do these guys all engage me all of a sudden? They're going to fuck me up. I can't take on three guys at once. I can hardly take on one. And I really, really don't know if they would, like, follow me. Yeah, I don't know if they would follow me from one area to the next. The rag pickers, though, is this, is it all dustmen? Or am I going to get robbed here? Like, yellow fingers? Ew. I don't know what to expect around here. Let's, let's wander into a random shack, shall we? The midwife's hut. Old Mabeth. <laughs> Mabeth sounds like a made-up name. 
The squat old woman looks like she has had all the color bled out of her. Everything from her hair to her shawl to her robe. All are shades of gray. The only splotches of color on her come from strange herbs which are tied to her belt by their stalks. The herbs make a strange swish when she moves, like a broom. Probably, probably not that strange of a swish. Greetings. The elderly woman turns and stares at you, and you notice the gray shading, shades blanketing her body extend to her features as well. Her hair is a wispy gray, and her eyes are like chips of granite. She frowns when she sees you. And who might you be, hmm? I'm a traveler, I don't really know who I am. The name's Adon. Who are you? Where did I pick up this name that I'm throwing around a few times here? Uh, I don't really know who I am. I like being honest about that one thing in the hopes that maybe someone can tell me what the fuck is going on. So you not know yourself, child? She squints and points at your chest. Hard to piece together the man beneath all that tracery and scrawling scars, is it? Maybe. Who are you? With a sly cackle, she wags her eyebrows. Have you not heard of old Mabeth, then? <laughs> no, sorry, I have not. I thought, I'm thought i pretty sure I would have. I'd remember it if I had. You got a silly name, and you're a very cylindrical, stout little woman. The midwife of the square? Have you not now? She narrows her eyes, and her voice drops. Well, now you have, for I be Mabeth. Your midwife, what do you do? I set bones right, drive the cough out of the sick, yank out squealing stubborn babes, mend cloaks or a rag or two, make cures and herbs and other such. She squints at you, studying her scars. Be needing a cure or three, do you then? Cures? Aye, you be needing some cures to look at ya. Do you want to buy some, dear? She glances at the scars covering your body again, then shrugs. Too late to be asking for them, I think. Actually, we could use some healing. I don't need any cures now, but they might be useful later. Could I see what you have? Actually, I just want a place to rest. Not at the moment. I had a question for you. Go on, ask it then. Uh, I might as well ask about the journal. I haven't asked. I haven't bothered anyone about that in a little while. Mabeth thinks, I haven't seen one. If it's in the square, which I doubt, since folks don't traffic much with books and the like, it's most likely been sold or stolen. Was it something important to you then? A magic thingy? All glowing and sparkling with magics, eh? If so, you might never see it again. Uh, maybe not. I have other questions. Could I buy cures? Could I rest? Uh, what do you sell? Mmm, Farad. Farad? That... That, pah! You watch as Mabeth spits once, twice, three times, then follows it by making a semicircle over her heart. That gull turd, what you be wanting with the likes of him? I need to find him. Do you know where he is? He's not in Rag Picker Square. <laughs> that much I could tell ya. You need to find a way under the square to get to that turd spider's kip. She spits again. Even talking about him leaves a foul taste, and it does. He's under the square. She jabs her finger at the floor. Ah, he's buried beneath these piles of trash, him and his boys. And a tough time you'd have digging him out of the nest. She shakes her head. Let be, let be, child. I need to find him. How do I get down there? Beth frowns, then sighs. Hear, tell. Farad's got a gate that leads to his nest somewhere here in the square. It's a just a matter of finding it. You might want to ask some, uh, some of the others, some who travel a bit more than old Mabeth. That's all I wish to know. Farewell. There's certain tidbits of information like that where I imagine they have it set up so you can get it from several different characters. Uh, because I've noticed that a few times. A stove made out of wood. There, that's... I thought that was the exit. Um, I've noticed it a few times where there's, like, dialogue paths that seem to match up with things I've already learned. You can, like, ask questions about the mortuary to several characters, and so presumably there's some other characters who could have eventually filled me in that, uh, he is somewhere underneath all of this. Fuck off, man. I'm just trying to find a merchant. I'll be so bummed if I can't find a merchant this entire episode. I, I just don't know where the fuck to look. I'm gone. I've been crawling all over the place here, all over the hive, and I can't find anyone who wants to fucking trade items with me. 
This looks promising. I don't know what this is, and I don't know why it looks promising. It's promising in the sense that it's somewhere I haven't been. Damn it. <laughs> the tomb's not promising. This brazier has long since run dry of oil. Only ashes remain at the bottom. This sarcophagus appears to have been here for centuries. There's no lid. The exterior seems to be made out of solid stone. And, ooh, there's some... Is there gold on the ground? What is this? 80 copper and pen's note. Well, thanks for the gold, tomb. And what's all this, then? This note has been written with remarkable penmanship upon the finest parchment. Vaxus! Oh, shit, is that the guy in the mortuary who disguised me? I think it is. So I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm actually going to read this note rather than just paraphrasing. If you're reading this, then you have undoubtedly failed in your task and have been forced to use the escape route I arranged. I told you that your little disguise idea was ridiculous. In any case, you'll need to lay low for a while. The dustmen may be deluded, but they are not fools, and will, they will certainly seek retribution for your intrusion. I've left uh, you some coins. Use them to secure a hiding place in the hive, preferably in Ragpicker's Square. The dustmen will be unwilling to look for you there. There was clearly dustmen like wandering around in there, though. I don't really know what the deal is with that. And I wonder if... All right, but he clearly didn't pick up this coin and note, so I guess that didn't really work out. But I was just thinking, like, uh, maybe he will be forced to flee because I kind of sold him out on my way out of the mortuary. I, like, mentioned that there's a guy hiding upstairs dressed as a zombie. Once you've secured a new hiding place, I have a new mission for you. Find out where Farad is getting those bodies he's delivering to the mortuary. I probably need to shake down some collectors to figure out some of that. It's apparently causing the dustman a great deal of upset, and I wouldn't mind knowing myself. Reports are that the stone-faced dustman in the Gathering Dust Bar, Initiate Emerok, I think the fool's name is, oh, I've seen that guy, has been sending out finders to try and mark Farad's movements. See if you can find out how far along he is and hinder his efforts until we know more about Farad's activities. I don't want Emerok finding out something before we do. From Pen. I like that Pen has excellent penmanship. Wait a second. I thought 30 common? Why did I think I picked up 80? I guess I just had that wrong. I just read that wrong. Mildly disappointing, because I thought that I had suddenly you know, at tenfold, went tenfold on my money there. Ooh, let me into your random house. I'm just gonna come knocking and see if I, see if I can just wander on in. Hopefully nothing shady going on in here. We got, uh, I'm trying to talk to this guy. Angyar and wife of Angyar. What, what, you, what you got going on, man? Are you fucking willing to sell something to me? Because I would really love if someone would sell me some goods. This man looks haunted. His eyes are half-lidded, as if he has had trouble sleeping, and his hair is long and unkempt. His beard is flecked with bits of dead skin and old bits of food. He doesn't even notice you as you approach. God, this guy sounds disgusting. I don't want to talk to this disgusting old man. The man glances up at the sound of your voice, and his slack expression vanishes. It looks like someone has lit two fires in his eyes. What be your business barging into my house? His eyes narrow and his teeth clench. Get, or I'll send you back to wherever grave you crawled from. Go ahead and try if you think you have the strength. No one speaks to me that way. Take back your words or this house will become a crypt. Calm yourself, I had some questions. The man's face turns blood red and he begins shouting. Are you daft? With a snarl, he spits at your feet. You filthy, scar-ridden dog, off with ye, or even the powers won't be able to save your hide. Go ahead and try if you think you have the strength. Damn. Oh, I was not expecting to uh, start fighting both of them, but I guess that's happening. Whoops, I guess I, I guess I killed them both. At least I gained a little bit of experience. It came up in the comments the other day whether uh, those attack encounters were automatic. They seem to be. I think I've confirmed that they are now, because I definitely didn't click anything. I just started fighting, so it seems to be automatic. Well... Yippee, at least I got a decent amount of uh, copper off of these poor jits. Now I'll just kind of go rummage around in their little quiet house here. Poor old people. I didn't, I didn't really come in here with the intention of just killing an old couple. Some ancient old couple who's just trying to like look after their home. 
I, I think I would like to flee from there a little bit before someone comes a looking and notices that they've been killed. I don't really want to be accused of any of that sort of low shady shit. Uh, let me see, does it show my experience? Because I'm kind of curious how close I am to maybe leveling up. Mm, I see, I see nothing. Oh, here. I actually am relatively close. Not, not too shabby. So, maybe if I just beat up a few more old peoples, then I'll, I'll be able to level up in no time. It's not actually how I would like that to go down, but if it comes to it, Alley of Dangerous Angles. Jesus. Oh my god, now I got Dark Alley Shiv running straight at me? I didn't mean to wander in some sketchy back alley. Greetings, stranger. Looks like you're in Dark Alley Shiv territory now. Good thing I found all this money right when I wandered into like a thieves guild. Looks like you got a purse that could use some lightning. You better pray it's got enough. I need to talk to your leader. How much do you need? I'd like to see you taking it with holes in your skin. And Bluff, I already paid this time through. Um... I am a little bit hurt. How much... I don't, I don't know if I can fight this guy right now. How much do you need? It ain't much, he says mag magnanimously. A mere ten pieces of jink will get you through. How about fuck off? <laughs> then you won't make it through here alive. He draws his knife and attacks. Flee. I'm gone. Flee. Uh, there we go. There we go. I'm out of here. There. I was I was really hoping that I would be able to find the uh, find the exit easily enough. Oh shit! Are those thugs like set up to try and attack me if I if I try to run away without paying or whatever? Oh, maybe it's because it's nighttime. The thugs are getting a little bit more confident. They're a little bit more willing to like jump people now. So I gotta be careful because there's a f shitload of thugs just like wandering around here now that I don't particularly want to mess with. God damn! I didn't think finding a merchant would be such a pain in the ass. Is this like some sort of thug? holding hold up because there's a bunch of thugs just hanging out around around it no it's uh, it's the house of shalandra how's it going shalandra blast i almost had it that time don't you know it's dangerous to interrupt spell casters while they're evoking a spell luckily for you i was only practicing what is it you want my apologies for disturbing you farewell well you might as well ask her a question you dumbass don't you bother you bother everyone all the time with your little greetings no matter how much they seem to want to hear from you or not and all of a sudden this one is just like well what do you want like tell me tell me what you're interested in oh sorry no thanks I guess I'll just be leaving then ah oh, I just cannot figure out how to get equipment I do I just need to start killing more things do I need to start picking more fights I cannot say for sure shitty fuck now I got more thugs running after me. Well, next time guys, hopefully I can figure out where I ought to be going in order to actually find some of the shit that I want, because my random aim ambling is just getting me, uh, getting a lot of fights picked without any real results. So hopefully we'll get that figured out. Jesus shitting Christ. All right, we're running back to the small holding for a minute just to just to regroup and think what we want to do next year. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you again tomorrow.